There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. The giant, named Hagrid, left a blanket-wrapped bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle was a baby. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys. Until that fateful day, when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley to purchase a most unusual list of school supplies. While at Gringotts Wizard Band, Hagrid collected a scruffy package from Vault 713, mentioning to Harry that the package, whatever it was, would be safer at Hogwarts. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from platform nine and three quarters and left the muggle world far behind. Dumbledore stood up. This term, the corridor on the third floor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer a most painful death. Harry sat beneath the sorting hat hoping that he would not be chosen for Slytherin House over Gryffindor. Not Slytherin, eh? said the hat in his ear. You could be great. It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No? Well, if you're sure, better be... Gryffindor! Welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I am Albus Dumbledore, your headmaster. Now, Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry, so search behind every door. But keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. Only this morning, I took a wrong turn and stumbled upon a room full of chocolate frogs. But alas, when I returned, they'd been replaced by a a nasty horde of fire crabs. Now, up the stairs and off to your lessons. Don't be late. Your first lesson is upstairs on the third floor, Mr. Potter. Hey, Harry, remember me, Ron Weasley? My brothers, Fred and George, have something to show you. Follow me. Follow me, Harry. Hello, Harry. We can show you how to get around Hogwarts. As a first year, you have a lot to learn. Follow us for a secret lesson. I'll see you later in Defense Against the Dark Arts class. Good luck, Harry. We're going to teach you how to climb. Run to the bookcase and don't stop. You'll climb up. Above the bookcase is a Bertie Botts Every Flavour Bean. Collect all the beans you can find and meet us in the next room. Well done. Now, let's try jumping. Run to the ledge, then press the jump button to jump across. If you fall down, you can climb back up and start over. Meet us in the next room. We'll take the shortcut and meet you there. Oh, it's Potty Wee Potter! That's Peeves, the poltergeist. 
He's always causing trouble. Peeves doesn't like first years, so watch your step. Harry, we couldn't have done it without you. <coughs> we need the beans for some <coughs> experiments. Here's a wizard card for you. You've earned it. <coughs> Climb through the secret exit above the bookcases to get to your first spell lesson. Good luck. Draco Malfoy, and you do well to show me respect. These are my fellow Slytherins, Crab and Goyle. Naturally, we Slytherins are going to win the House Cup and the Quidditch Cup. You better stay out of our way, Potter. Let's go, boys. I am P Professor Quirrell. Today we'll learn how to protect ourselves against the dark magic with the flippendo spell. Watch my wand. Then hold down the mouse button and repeat the pattern. Release the button when you're done. Flippendo! Quite good, Mr. Potter. Five points for G Gryffindor. T -t -t Try again, Mr. Potter. That's not it, Mr. P Potter. Splendid! You may now enter the Flippendo Challenge to p practice the spell. Follow me, Mr. P -P Potter. Hold down the mouse button to aim the flippendo spell. Release the button to cast the spell. T -t Try it on that barrel. Flippendo! your flippendo spell at the switch on the wall to open the d d door. Flippendo affects all sorts of things, such as this cauldron. Knock it over, Mr. P Potter. Flippendo! Flippendo! Well done. Now, go on and collect your challenge stars. I'll meet you further on. Hello, Harry Potter. I am nearly headless Nick, the Gryffindor House Ghost. Now, this is a save game book. When you touch it, your game will automatically be saved. The game will restart from this point, if you faint. You can also load a saved game from the main menu. Goodbye! Flipendo! Flipendo! C 
cast your flippendo spell on this block to knock it out of the way. Flippendo! Flippendo! This is a gnome, Mr. Potter. They like to p pester young wizards. Knock him on his b b backside to complete the challenge. They move quickly and can be quite a nuisance. Congratulations, Mr. P Potter. You completed the challenge. You collected the required number of challenge stars. Five points for Gr Gryffindor. Now, get to broomstick p practice be before you're late. Back in their Gryffindor common room, Harry, Ron and Hermione talked about their exciting first days at Hogwarts. There was much talk about the break-in at Gringotts Wizard Bank, but there was little time to dwell on this since Harry and his friends were expected at their flying lesson with Madame Hooch. I am your instructor, Madam Hooch. For your first lesson, you will fly through these magic rings. Control your broom with the direction keys. The speed up and slow down keys adjust your flight speed. Ready, Potter? On my whistle, then. Well done, Mr. Potter. See how you do with smaller rings. Let's add a bit of heart. These rings should challenge you. Perfect score. 20 points for Gryffindor. From now on, you may practice flying at any time. You will find the option on the main menu. Time for your charms lesson now. Good day, Mr. Potter. You're early for the lesson, Harry, but I'll teach you a new spell I've learnt on my own. The spell I learned is Alahamora. It will open magically locked things, but don't get into any mischief. 
This is the symbol for Alahamora. When I stop, hold down the mouth button and make the same pattern. Then let go of the button. Alohomora! That was good, but I know you could do even better. Great, Harry. I'm sure Professor Flitwick would give you five house points for that charm. Practice makes perfect, so give it another go. And what exactly would you open with that? Now you try using Alahamora. We still have a few minutes before the charms lesson. That door in front of you is magically locked. Cast Alhamora to open it. Alhamora! You've got it. Now, can you find the two secrets in this room? Alhamora! If you're done admiring yourself, Harry, take a look at that magical chest. Pass that to unlock it. Try the book. Try the bookcase. Welcome, young wizards. I am Professor Flitwick, and today you will learn the levitation spell Wingardium. You may now enter the Wingardium Leviosa challenge to practice the Observe spell. Observe the correct Wingardium me, Leviosa Potter. symbol. When I stop, hold down the mouse button and follow the pattern, then release the button. Cut. work, Mr. Potter, but you still have room to improve. Let's continue with the lesson, Mr. Potter. Well done! Now go and collect the challenge stars. I'll meet you at the end. Good luck, Mr. Potter.
Prizes. Oh, Malfoy's got a present for you. You better watch your step. Oh, I'm pleased, Potter, and you better watch out. Well, well, Potter, we meet again. Having a tour of the castle, are we? Harry, over here. Hello, Harry. It's me, Hagrid. Good to see you. These are the Hogwarts Castle grounds, and I'm the gamekeeper, of course. Can't believe how quickly everything grows round here. Your friend Hermione's at the entrance to the greenhouse, waiting for you. Drop round for tea later, after your lessons are done. Class, I am Professor Sprout. Today we'll learn the incendio <coughs> spell, which is useful against all manner of dangerous plants. Observe the correct incendio symbol. Hold down the mouse button and follow the pattern. Then release the button. Hey, Slurper, thanks for the good luck. I'll try my best. I practice. an outstanding <laughs> incendio for a first year. Five points for Gryffindor. Try to go a little bit quicker this time. Well, I guess I'll first have to get them, get to them even. An interesting variation on incendio. Brightness assisted people. It's wrong. True. Now it's time for the incendio challenge. I mean, <laughs> through the doors, Mr. Potter. I'll watch you from the back. It would be really interesting how the speedrun would work if if it actually did something to the brightness. <laughs> Those are spiky bushes. You may cast incendio on them, but step Probably back to avoid their shit Incendio! Ah! Incendio! 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 This is a typical species of venomous tentacular. Cast incendio to wilt it. Incendio. Now connect the challenge stars to complete your lesson. Away you go. Oh my god. Yeah. 
not much different. I mean, if... Like, if it worked like in other games... Like, where if you put something at full brightness, you are basically just white. <laughs> I think it would be... At least annoying, if, if nothing less. Or like nothing more. Or if you like in dungeons and in, and in like the lowest you can. But yeah, it would definitely like be dependent on how it it work would work. For more, more like how tread like more established games handle brightness. Usually you can't see jack shit if it's full. Here comes Neville. He looks quite upset. And the opposite for the other part of the spectrum. Please help me. has gone sniveling to you and you want me to give you his precious remember all i think i'll leave it i guess <laughs> i'll have to open this game <laughs> in software rendering one day to see what the difference is think you can catch me come on then potter <sighs> you want the remember all back see if you can catch it and you better watch out for my bludgers, sisters. You'll pay for this. Here, take this stupid thing. I've no use for it. Thanks, Harry. I'll be able to find my toad now. Come here, Trevor. Come back. I remember now. I left Trevor near the herbology class. There are plants there that eat toads. Mr. Potter. I'm Professor McGonagall, Deputy Headmistress of Hogwarts and Head of Gryffindor House. Although I do not approve of your chasing Malfoy about, I'll admit you have remarkable talent on a broomstick. Ordinarily, first-year students may not compete in Quidditch. In your case, we might overlook that rule. Harry, Gryffindor's first Quidditch match of the year is later this afternoon against the formidable Slytherin team. See you then.
Over here. Come along then. I've something to show you now. By the way, congratulations on making the Quidditch team. Word travels fast round Hogwarts. <laughs> Welcome to my home, Harry. It's small, but still roomier than your cupboard under the stairs, eh? Now I can show you what I wanted to talk to you about. It's a dragon's egg, Harry. But it's our secret, mind you. The egg is at a very delicate stage. I can't leave it here alone, but I need some fire seeds to give it that last burst of heat to make it hatch. Harry, can you fetch me some fire seeds? I grow them in caves out in the garden. I need you to collect as many fire seeds as you can find. Careful though, they're spitting fire and the seeds are hot. Let them cool down before you pick them up. Off you go then. Great work, Harry. You've collected all the fire seeds I need. Come on inside, Harry. Wipe your feet now. Go ahead and put them in the fire, Harry. You've done it, Harry. It's hatching. Hey, easily. I'll call him Norbert. He's a Norwegian Ridgeback, you know. Up you come, my beauty. Thanks, Harry. Here, take this flute. It can be used to help some creatures sleep. You'd best get ready for Quidditch now. Should be an exciting game. Slytherin's a tough team, but you'll show them, eh? Hmm, we'd better give Norbert his first feed soon. Chasers throw the cockle and try to put it through the hoops to score. Wow! 
Watch out for the bludgers. These are charm balls that can knock you off your broomstick. Two meters on each team try to keep them away. Team Seeker is Harry's Potter. It's his job to find and catch the gun can snitch. Snitch. Jordan, no favoritism. Sorry, miss. Remember, first avoid the bludgers, then find and catch the snitch. The game is over when the snitch is caught. Good luck. Why is Harry walking through the field? Well no done, idea. Harry Potter. My name's Lee Jordan, signing off. He's also like the last one to get on the pitch both times he plays. But I guess fetching fire seeds for Hagrid the youngest can make you late. In the history of Hogwarts had won the Quidditch match. Congratulations again for winning the Quidditch match against Slytherin. You are fantastic. Something is troubling me, Harry. Ron and I heard strange noises outside the Forbidden Corridor. Come up to the third floor and have a look. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. That was unexpected. Quidditch has, a, has such ridiculous rules. Yeah. It's like the team can do whatever it wants, but all it, all it matters is you may if you catch the snitch. The challenge to practice the spell. Basically. F me like, even, even in the books, like, it doesn't happen. Like almost at all that somebody wins because they have more points the mouse with that quaffle scoring or whatever it is. Lumos, let go of the button. You may practice on that g g gargoyle. D don't dawdle, Mr. P Potter. Cast Lumos on the statue to expose the correct path. Shit. D don't dawdle, Mr. P Potter. Cast Lumos on the statue to expose the correct path. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't very good. Flipendo! Flipendo!
No, that's not, not enough. Shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the snitch is just some kind of like. I guess it's just a way for for Rowling to like make Harry like the main guy. Or whatever. Like the whole team can be dog shit, but then you have Harry who saves the day. Lumos is very bad. Like maybe if, at least if it, if it didn't like end the game or whatever. If it got if it got you like less points and it didn't end the game straight up. Like after the snitch is caught, like. Your seeker can help, help you out the rest of the game. It looks like we're already late. Or you can just like straight up decide to ignore the snitch. And just have one extra player. I am your potions teacher, Professor Snape. Today, you will learn how to mix a Wigan Weld healing potion. You're late for potions, Mr. Potter. Inexcusable even for celebrities. Five points from Gryffindor. Potter, go to the dungeons and fetch the potion ingredients for the class. Bring back Wigan Tree Bark, Moly, Dittany, and Flubberworm Mucus. Be quick about it or I shall deduct house points from Gryffindor. Now be gone, and don't come back without the ingredients. Hmm, that must be Disney. up everything.
Oh no, it's the bloody Baron. Was playing it too safe because of yesterday's death. I see you've collected a few challenge stars, but I'm afraid they have no value in my classroom. I've ended the lesson without you, Potter. The other students are off to the Halloween feast. Join them, if you must. How did that go? Harry! A huge troll is on the rampage! It's cornered Hermione in the girls' bathroom! She needs our help! We must try to rescue her straight away!
Harry, I'll try to charm the troll's club so it bashes him in the head. Wingardium Leviosa! Exhausted from their encounter with the troll, Harry, Ron, and Hermione returned to the Gryffindor common room and discussed the strange goings on at Hogwarts. Harry suspected that someone had released the troll to distract everyone so that they could get into the Forbidden Corridor. But there wasn't much time to think about who was behind this, especially since Harry was busy preparing for the second Quidditch match against Ravenclaw. Welcome to Quidditch! I'm your comments owner, Lee Jordan! It's Gryffindor versus Ravenclaw! Potter's seen the snitch! My name's Lee Jordan, signing off. Thanks to Harry's skill as a seeker, Gryffindor won the Quidditch match against Ravenclaw. Harry, Ron and Hermione spent most of their free time in Hagrid's hut, trying to convince him that he couldn't keep Norbert his beloved dragon. Eventually, after much coaxing, Hagrid agreed. How has this game gained so much popularity recently? No idea. Harry unwrapped the unexpected Christmas present. Something flew. I mean, there's this it's an invisibility guy Nixo who has like a very big following on Twitch, with cloak. who like Your exclusively speedruns Harry Potter. Use it well. So I guess he inspired a lot of people to to play the game. Harry tried on the cloak, but that's just Hermione my guess. I honestly don't know. Be careful, Harry," said Hermione. "You can't stay invisible while you cast spells. Filch might see you." With Norbert safely bundled up, Harry set off for the tallest tower. He hoped that the cloak would conceal him from Filch and his cat, Mrs. Norris. <laughs> But as far as I know, a lot of the top runners play the game for many years now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it wasn't that straightforward, it was like my, like, my sister told me about him. Like, when I was 
Like when I started speedrunning Super Meat Boy, she was like, oh, I watched this guy who speedruns Harry Potter. And we used to play Harry Potter a lot when we were kids. So I checked it out and like two years after that I decided to do a run. Now, how can I get up there? Come out, come out wherever you are. <laughs> Yeah, it's very active right now. Like there, there are also there are like tournaments and stuff happening. Like basically, like like the bigger streams get like thirty viewers and more. Like every time. And the Nick Nick so. Nick, so he gets like 300 people watching every stream, basically. Oh, wow, I was too slow. Holy shit. It's unlucky. Hundred isn't that much though. Yeah, I guess. <clears throat> but he, be, but he really only exclusively does Harry Potter speedrunning. Like very rarely he does anything else. Well, okay, not so rarely, but but he's he's really, tr but it's like he truly is mainly to Harry Potter. Got it and I fall down. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's some other factors too. I don't really follow follow it that much. brother Charlie had arranged to collect the dragon from the tower and return him to Romania. Maybe it's just that like a lot of people play this game as kids and then like during COVID they found about speedrunning and found that like you can speedrun a game from their, their childhood. I've heard you for sure this yeah, time. Yeah, that's true. Quick, Mrs. Norris, you keep watch from above. You'll not get past me now, you rotten little gutter snipes. Intruder! Intruder! In the Forbidden Corridor! 
Intruder! Probably is a mix of more things, like, I think that people actually, like, need to, to have played the game as, like, to have, like, or something. If you know what I mean, that I don't think people really just pick up a game and they never play it and decide to speedrun it. Certainly not something I would do. Yeah, like, when I, like, I recently saw, like, 50 active players in the HP2, like, the HP2 page, so if, I kind of doubt also that those 50 people come from a 30, 100 viewer stream, but, I mean, they gotta come from somewhere, I guess. I don't know, hard to tell. Because, like, there are a lot of new, like, it's not just that old players decided to play the game recently a lot, it's, it's, it's a lot of, it's a lot of new guys as well, <laughs> waiting for a Meat Boy Nostalgia generation, yeah, maybe in 10 years. <laughs> Filthy whelps gave us the slip, Mrs. Norris. I've locked the only door out of here for the sake of me nerves. Stay here and watch the library for a bit, my dear. Not do this. <laughs> I can't do it, so don't do it. Yeah, I guess. Also, like a lot of, a lot of the runners like grind a lot. I guess that helps a lot also. Like they truly play play the game a lot. It's not. Also, maybe the fact that there's like, like it's not just one game. Like the top runners play all the games, even the console versions and stuff. So like, it's hard to get bored of it, maybe. So like, you play HP one, and then you get bored, so you start to play HP two. You get bored, you play HP three. fun to run against yourself. I mean, it's f like, it's not that bad. God, why am I so far away?
<laughs> Lol. No, <laughs> I mean, I plan to play like to play Super Meat Boy more, but I don't currently have much time to. Maybe in the summer. Because I can't Im I can't just go I into the game and BB 106 anymore. I've been starting to, to get the urge to do runs again. It's nice to hear. Make anyone immortal. No wonder someone's trying to get it. Anyone would want it, said Harry. Can I even save one minute, twenty seconds? Taken from Green Guards, contained the <laughs> Not even sure. Stone. I think I can the just barely. Stone that was down the forbidden corridor, being guarded by whatever it was that had grabbed. It's like fifty-five seconds in in Fluffy, and then. Snake's been acting very suspicious lately. Ah, twenty-five lately. seconds in Voldemort. You may be planning to steal the Probably sorcerer's not. stone, but, but there's no way Snake would try anything while Dumbledore's Let's around. See. But Dumbledore left ten minutes ago for the Ministry of Magic in London. That must mean that tonight's the night. Let's go! Let's go. Alright. What about Filch? He's always watching the Forbidden Corridor. We'll just have to take our chances then. Looks like Filch is somewhere else tonight. Come on, let's go. This way, Harry. This is where the growling has been coming from. Hear that? I don't think we should go in there. But we've got to stop Snape. Go on, Harry. We're right behind you. I got past 3 minutes 24 seconds, PB 4 minutes 18 seconds. Okay, that's the slowest one. <laughs> Pretty sure this time. Okay, I, f I think I fucked it up. Yeah, that's the second slowest. Oh my god. Oh fuck. <laughs> that. Was kind of scary. You want to go first, Hermione? No, I don't. Right. See you in a minute. I hope. It's okay. It's a soft landing. You can jump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I don't think it's enough. But let's see. Come on, Harry. Really needed to do better on a filch one. <laughs> Even gold. Kind of pathetic. I know what this is. It's the devil's snare. Next time I'm gonna pay more attention in herbology. Help! It's a devil's snare! Try not to get too close to those tentacles. Incendio. 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 Close, Harry. This way, Harry. Ah, losing time here. Not good, not good. You have to catch the key, Harry. Time to put your Quidditch skills to practice. Up. Good luck, Harry. Good luck. <sighs> okay. 
and I stopped getting hit when I tried to turn. Should save time, probably. The next puzzle is a gigantic chessboard. Ron's gone through to play. I hope he's all right. Gosh, she's so in the way. Defeated most of the pieces, but I've been hurt. It's up to you now, Harry. <sighs> Harry, you have to be careful and avoid the pieces. They all move one square at a time. You'll have to make the pieces fight each other in order to get across safely. Walk onto the board, Harry, to start the game. Do be careful. They just try to get as close to you as possible. It, looks, it kinda looks like it. Now I come to think of it. Yeah, maybe they do. Interesting. Solved a big mystery from my childhood. Oh, so be careful, slow. Harry. It could be poison. 24 seconds. I'm not so sure about this. Yeah, he's he's the one that composed Skyrim, also and Oblivion. Jeremy something I don't remember I wondered whether I'd be meeting you here Potter I suppose you were expecting someone else well it's me I don't know what scared, else he composed professor Quirrell. I guess he's pretty established in uh, like the game industry Lipendo. Let's see if it's enough. You can't escape me. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> but it is the same guy. God, he started casting so early. Not sure what else he composed. I only know that he did. Winter. Yeah, not sure what that is. Oh, 
You will heal to me, Potter. It is a PP holy shit. Dumbledore smiled. What happened down in the 